In this video lecture, we have to discuss two important points. Equations of lines parallel to the y-axis and the equation of the y-axis itself. Now, if you have watched our previous video tutorials on graphs of linear equations in two variables, then this will be a piece of cake for you. So I highly recommend you, if you haven't watched those tutorials, then please watch them first so that you can understand it properly. Let's begin our discussion by this point that is equations of lines parallel to the y-axis. Okay. This is our graph. The horizontal axis is the x-axis and the vertical axis is the y-axis. Okay. Now, let's take this point. Let's take this point 3. And let's draw a line that passes through this point 3 and which of course is parallel to this y-axis. So this is point 3. Now this x-coordinate is always fixed. That is 3. So what is this point? What is this point? This point is 3 comma 1. Why? The x coordinate is fixed that is 3 and the y coordinate in this case is 1. So by the same logic this will be 3 comma 2, 3 comma 3, 3 comma 4, 3 comma 5, 3 comma 6, 3 comma 7 and so on and so forth. Okay, not only these positive integers, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, but also all the negative integers, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. If you plot, like this point will be 3, comma, minus 1, this point will be 3, comma, minus 2, and so on and so forth. Okay, so not only positive integers, but also the negative integers will lie on this particular line and not only integers or rational numbers, but also irrational numbers will also lie on this line. Like here, this is 3 comma 1, but it can be 3 comma 1.5 also. This can be 3 comma 1.5 also. It means that on this point, sorry, on this line, the points will be of the form A comma R, where A is, sorry, or A is in this case is 3, it's of the form 3 comma R, where R is your real number, is your real number. This X coordinate will always be fixed, that is 3, only this Y coordinate will change but it will be a real number. It can be a rational number, it can be an irrational number. So all those points will lie on this line and we have to find the equation of this line. Let's say that, let's assume that, we know that, sorry, we know that the in general, a linear equation in two variables is actually the equation of a line. So ax plus by plus c equal to zero will represent a line. We know that in general, we represent a line using this equation. So if three comma r are the points that lie on this line and we have assumed that let's our equation be ax plus by plus c equal to zero. It means that all these points will be solutions of this equation. All these points will be solution of this equations and you know that in such way, we'll have infinite many points, infinitely many points like this. So this three comma r, all the solution, all these points, three comma r, are the solutions of this particular equation. Why? Because this equation, we have assumed that it represents this line. Therefore, all the points that lie on this line will be the solution of this particular equation. Okay. And the second point is these such points are infinite in quantity. They are infinite. But still, we don't know about the exact equation, but we'll find it. What is this point? This is x equal to 3. 
Keep these points in your mind. These are very important. You have to remember this. Okay, x equal to three. We can rewrite it as x minus three equal to zero. This is a linear equation in one variable. Okay, now we can further rewrite it as x plus zero multiplied by y plus minus three equal to zero. Now this is a linear equation in two variables where two variables are x and y and this is a linear equation in two variables then of course it will represent a line. Okay. Now since this is zero multiplied by y so it doesn't matter what value we put here at the place of y whether we put one we put two we put 10, we put 1000, we put square root of 11, we put a square root of 13 and so on and so forth. This term will always be 0 because this is 0 multiplied by y. It means that doesn't matter what you what value you put here at the place of y, you will always get x plus 0 minus 3 equal to 0 that is x is equal to 3. You'll always get x equal to 3. It doesn't matter what value you put at the place of y. It means that the solution of this particular equation is actually given by 3 comma r where x is 3 and this y coordinate will change but r is will always be a real number. Will always be a real number. So the solutions of this particular equation is of the form are of the form 3 comma r. 3 comma r will tell you the solutions of this particular equation where r will take any real number. So we know that such points can be infinite. They can be infinite. Okay. Now 3 comma r where r is a real number. 3 comma r where r is a real number 3 comma r is the solution of this particular equation 3 comma r is a solution of this particular equation the solutions are infinite the solutions are infinite it means that a x plus b y c is equal to 0 that we assumed earlier is actually the same equation that is x minus 3 equal to 0 solution is 3 comma r solution is 3 comma r infinite infinite it means that this is the equation that we were looking for or x equal to 3 because x equal to 3 is nothing else but x minus 3 equal to 0 this is the equation or this is the equation that we were looking for for this particular case where our line is passing through this point 3 right so in this case x equal to 3 or x minus 3 equal to 0 is that equation so in general let's say that Let's say that our point is somewhere here. Let's say that it's a point A. Let's say it points, it's a point A. So if your line passes through this point A, then the equation of the line will be x equal to A, where A comma R, x coordinate is fixed, that is A, y coordinate will take any real number it, it can take any real number this will represent the solutions of this particular equation that is a comma r okay so if you write x minus a equal to zero this will tell you all the solutions of this particular equation and it will be infinite the solutions will be infinite so this is in general Let's talk in a more general way. So imagine that you are given 2x minus 4 equal to 0 or 2x plus 4 equal to 0. In this case, your x will be equal to 2. And in this case, your x will be equal to minus 2. So x equal to 2 should remind you of x equal to a. So in this case, your line will pass through this point 2. So your line will pass through 
this point two. This x equal to minus two should remind you of x equal to a, and in this case, your line will pass through x equal to minus two. Right? Okay. Let's take a few more examples. Let's say that your equation is of the form three x minus fifteen equal to zero and 3x plus 15 equal to 0. In this case, your x will be 5. And in this case, your x will be equal to minus 5. x equal to 5, x equal to a, it means that your line will pass through this point 5. And in this case, x equal to minus 5, it means that your line will pass through this point x equal to minus 5. And if you notice, all these lines are parallel to the y axis. Right? So, in general, like we have seen these four examples, if your equation is of the form ax plus b equal to 0, and if you have to draw plot the graph for this particular equation in one variable that is ax plus b equal to 0 you have to do one thing that write it as x is equal to minus b by a and your point your line will pass through that particular point like we have seen in these four examples right okay now the last point that we have to discuss is the equation of the y-axis. If you have understood this one properly, then you already know this one, right? This is our graph, and we learned about x is equal to three, and then we further learn about x is equal to a or x is equal to minus b by a. So don't you think that the equation of the line that is the equation of the y-axis is actually x is equal to 0. This is the equation of the y-axis. Don't worry, I'll again show you. Okay. So, let's say that we don't know what this equation, what's the equation. Let's say that again, in general, the equation is ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Okay. Now, this is 0 comma 0. This is the origin. And this is 0 comma 1, this is 0 comma 2, this is 0 comma 3, so on and so forth. Let's say that this is 4.5, so this is 0 comma 4.5. So the point is that all the points that lie on this particular line, it can be 0 comma minus 1 also, all the lines that lie on this particular line that will be of the form 0 comma r where r can be any real number it can be any real number it can be 1 it can be 2 it can be minus 1 it can be minus 2 it can be square root of 2 it can be square root of 3 it can be square root of 11 it can be it can be 1000 it can be lakh whatever 0 will be fixed this will be fixed because here our x coordinate is always 0 it means that since all these points of the form 0 comma r lie on this particular line, it means that these points will be solutions of this particular equation. These are solutions of this particular equations, equation. And such points are infinite in quantity. Right, now, this is x is equal to 0. We still don't know what's the equation. So x equal to 0. Now we can write this as x plus 0 multiplied by y plus 0 equal to 0. This is a linear equation in two variables where two variables are x and y and our a is 1 here and our b is 0 here and our c is 0 here. Now since this is 0 multiplied by y, doesn't matter what value you put at the place of y, this term will always be equal to 0. Whether you put 
y equal to 1, you put minus 1, you put 2, you put minus 2, you put square root of 2, you put square root of 111 and so on and so forth. This will always be 0. It means that you'll always get x equal to 0. You'll always get x equal to 0. It means that the solutions of this particular equation will take off, will be of the form 0 comma r where this zero will always be fixed there as we have seen here this r is actually a real number it can be any real number and such solutions are infinite in quantity are infinite in quantity so again zero comma r any real number solutions of this particular equation solutions zero comma r solutions of this particular equation infinite infinite it means that this is the equation that we were looking for this is the equation that we were looking for that is x equal to zero will be the equation is the equation of the y axis it's exactly similar to what we learned in the case of x is equal to three x is equal to a x is equal to five x equal to minus five and so on and so forth okay so the equation of the y axis is x equal to zero in our next video tutorial we'll discuss about the equation of the lines that are parallel to the x-axis and not to the y-axis and the equation of the x-axis itself.